Ezekiel chapter 12 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, you are living among a rebellious people. They have eyes to see, but do not see, and ears to hear, but do not hear, for they are a rebellious people. Therefore, son of man, pack your belongings for exile, and in the daytime, as they watch, set out and go from where you are to another place. Perhaps they will understand, though they are a rebellious people. During the daytime, while they watch, bring out your belongings packed for exile. Then in the evening, while they are watching, go out like those who go into exile. While they watch, dig through the wall and take your belongings out through it. Put them on your shoulder as they are watching and carry them out at dusk. Cover your face so that you cannot see the land, for I have made you a sign to the Israelites. So I did as I was commanded. During the day I brought out my things packed for exile. Then in the evening I dug through the wall with my hands. I took my belongings out at dusk, carrying them on my shoulders while they watched. In the morning the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, did not the Israelites, that rebellious people, ask you, What are you doing? Say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. This prophecy concerns the prince in Jerusalem and all the Israelites who are there. Say to them, I am a sign to you. As I have done, so it will be done to them. They will go into exile as captives. The prince among them will put his things on his shoulder at dusk and leave, and a hole will be dug in the wall for him to go through. He will cover his face so that he cannot see the land. I will spread my net for him, and he will be caught in my snare. I will bring him to Babylonia, the land of the Chaldeans, but he will not see it, and there he will die. I will scatter to the winds all those around him, his staff and all his troops, and I will pursue them with drawn sword. They will know that I am the Lord when I disperse them among the nations and scatter them through the countries. But I will spare a few of them from the sword, famine and plague, so that in the nations where they go they may acknowledge all their detestable practices. Then they will know that I am the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, tremble as you eat your food, and shudder in fear as you drink your water. Say to the people of the land, This is what the Sovereign Law says about those living in Jerusalem and in the land of Israel. They will eat their food in anxiety, and drink their water in despair, for their land will be stripped of everything in it, because of the violence of all who live there. The inhabited towns will be laid waste, and the land will be desolate. Then you will know that I am the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, what is this proverb you have in the land of Israel? The days go by, and every vision comes to nothing. Say to them, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am going to put an end to this proverb, and they will no longer quote it in Israel. Say to them, The days are near when every vision will be fulfilled, for there will be no more false visions or flattering divinations among the people of Israel. But I, the Lord, will speak what I will, and it shall be fulfilled without delay. For in your days, you rebellious people, I will fulfill whatever I say, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. The Israelites are saying, The vision he sees is for many years from now, and he prophesies about the distant future. Therefore say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, None of my words will be delayed any longer. Whatever I say will be fulfilled, declares the Sovereign Lord.
Ezekiel chapter 13 The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. Prophesy against the prophets of Israel who are now prophesying. Say to those who prophesy out of their own imagination, Hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Woe to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Your prophets, Israel, are like jackals among ruins. You have not gone up to the breaches in the wall to repair it for the people of Israel, so that it will stand firm in the battle on the day of the Lord. Their visions are false, and their divinations a lie. Even though the Lord has not sent them, they say, The Lord declares, and expect him to fulfill their words. Have you not seen false visions and uttered lying divinations when you say, The Lord declares, though I have not spoken? Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says, Because of your false words and lying visions, I am against you, declares the Sovereign Lord. My hand will be against the prophets who see false visions and utter lying divinations. They will not belong to the council of my people or be listed in the records of Israel, nor will they enter the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. Because they lead my people astray, saying, Peace, when there is no peace, and because when a flimsy wall is built, they cover it with whitewash. Therefore tell those who cover it with whitewash that it is going to fall. Rain will come in torrents, and I will send hailstones hurtling down, and violent winds will burst forth. When the wall collapses, will people not ask you, Where is the whitewash you covered it with? Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says, In my wrath I will unleash a violent wind, and in my anger hailstones and torrents of rain will fall with destructive fury. I will tear down the wall you have covered with whitewash, and will level it to the ground, so that its foundation will be laid bare. When it falls, you will be destroyed in it, and you will know that I am the Lord. So I will pour out my wrath against the wall and against those who covered it with whitewash. I will say to you, The wall is gone, and so are those who whitewashed it, those prophets of Israel who prophesied to Jerusalem and saw visions of peace for her when there was no peace, declares the Sovereign Lord. Now, son of man, Set your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own imagination. Prophesy against them and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Woe to the women who sew magic charms on all their wrists and make veils of various lengths for their heads in order to ensnare people. Will you ensnare the lives of my people but preserve your own? You have profaned me among my people for a few handfuls of barley and scraps of bread. By lying to my people, who listen to lies, you have killed those who should not have died and have spared those who should not live. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am against your magic charms with which you ensnare people like birds, and I will tear them from your arms. I will set free the people that you ensnare like birds. I will tear off your veils and save my people from your hands, and they will no longer fall prey to your power. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Because you disheartened the righteous with your lies, when I had brought them no grief, and because you encouraged the wicked not to turn from their evil ways and so save their lives, therefore... You will no longer see false visions or practice divination. I will save my people from your hands, and then you will know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 14 Some of the elders of Israel came to me and sat down in front of me. 
Then the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, these men have set up idols in their hearts and put wicked stumbling blocks before their faces. Should I let them inquire of me at all? Therefore speak to them and tell them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. When any of the Israelites set up idols in their hearts and put a wicked stumbling block before their faces and then go to a prophet, I, the Lord, will answer them myself in keeping with their great idolatry. I will do this to recapture the hearts of the people of Israel, who have all deserted me for their idols. Therefore say to the people of Israel, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, Repent, turn from your idols, and renounce all your detestable practices. When any of the Israelites or any foreigner residing in Israel separate themselves from me and set up idols in their hearts and put a wicked stumbling block before their faces and then go to a prophet to inquire of me, I, the Lord, will answer them myself. I will set my face against them and make them an example and a byword. I will remove them from my people. Then you will know that I am the Lord. And if the prophet is enticed to utter a prophecy, I, the Lord, have enticed that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand against him and destroy him from among my people Israel. They will bear their guilt. The prophet will be as guilty as the one who consults him. Then the people of Israel will no longer stray from me, nor will they defile themselves any more with all their sins. They will be my people, and I will be their God, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, if a country sins against me by being unfaithful, and I stretch out my hand against it to cut off its food supply and send famine upon it, and kill its people and their animals, even if these three men, Noah, Daniel and Job were in it. They could save only themselves by their righteousness, declares the Sovereign Lord. Or if I send wild beasts through that country, and they leave it childless, and it becomes desolate so that no one can pass through it because of the beasts, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, even if these three men were in it, they could not save their own sons or daughters. They alone would be saved, but the land would be desolate. Or if I bring a sword against that country and say, Let the sword pass throughout the land, and I kill its people and their animals, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, even if these three men were in it, they could not save their own sons or daughters they alone would be saved. Or if I send a plague into that land and pour out my wrath on it through bloodshed, killing its people and their animals, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, even if Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they could save neither son nor daughter. They would save only themselves by their righteousness. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says. How much worse will it be when I send against Jerusalem my four dreadful judgments, sword and famine and wild beasts and plague, to kill its men and their animals? Yet there will be some survivors, sons and daughters who will be brought out of it. They will come to you, and when you see their conduct and their actions, you will be consoled regarding the disaster I have brought on Jerusalem every disaster I have brought on it. You will be consoled when you see their conduct and their actions, for you will know that I have done nothing in it without cause, declares the Sovereign Lord. Revelation chapter 5 Then I saw, in the right hand of him who sat on the throne, a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals. 
and I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it. I wept and wept, because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or look inside. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw a lamb, looking as if it had been slain, standing at the center of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. The lamb had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne, and when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of God's people. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, because you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honor and glory and power for ever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped.